uh, hello friends welcome back to my channel and today we will uh, continue our application hello world and we will starting from splash screen we will set we will set how to configure uh, our uh, launcher screen so first you need to click on your launcher screen this is also called a splash screen and uh, device we have selected for this this is the iphone 10 ui so you can select or change the device from here so i'm selecting device iphone 8 or you can start from any device from this screen from here and you can select orientation or portrait and landscape so for now we are creating application for portrait mode only so first uh, before uh, doing anything we can run the application to check how our application is looking now so here are all the simulators we are not testing on real devices the real device will be displayed like here, like this but we are going to test our application on iphone 6 you can also select uh, iphone x or iphone x or iphone xs but i'm selecting on iphone 6s click here to run and this button is for stop it will succeed so here is the our simulator and here the debug console you can delete debug logs using this button so we are clicking on this launcher screen and designing our first launcher screen so on this tab you can select all ui components so you need so we need first a level this is the level and, and you can take anything like image view and anything but i am starting from very basic and very big now. so first this level you can resize this like this with the help of your mouse and for the entry text you can double click inside or directly from this screen so i'm writing here Or you can write anything select the font size like uh, I'm selecting semi bold fifteen. this is the font size and these are the all uh, UI level configuration you can configure all things from here like alignment you can check let me resize it again so you can see this more clearly so you can set alignment from here and uh, colors background colors so the background color I'm preferring it white only by default and for the text color here is the text color you can select any text any text color from here or you can select color from this screen like you have options RGB colors color SHU slider so you can click with this so I'm thinking to apply this color blue resizing it again uh, but for the running this uh, UI all screen you need to set constant constant is uh, a, a facility provided by the uh, X code where you can pin your uh, UI component dependent on the 
on basis of a left right or top margin or height width so basically for setting up the constant you need to click on your uh, ui component so we have only one component here ui level so create on the level and then go to the bottom on this screen here so these are the four constant one bottom to right top left and we have two others height and width so we are configuring bottom zero zero from right left and we are not giving a height constant height because we are setting directly height so we not need to set a height constant sorry top constant if you select a uh, top constant then this will go to the directly to the top like if i select this 20 so this will be go to the top 20 like this and you can resize it again go to this select this here you can set priority multi multiply multiplier this are these are the advanced things that we will learn in one of our next videos for the basic you need to uh, change only this value but we are not going to add this top constant so we are removing it we have removed it then now we'll go to the again three constant bottom right left is already enabled you can check here click on the ui component click on this sorry select the ui component click on this you can check bottom is already there this is already there and this is already there we don't have top or height so we can uh, apply anything top or height so top we have already seen before and and now we are going to implement or add height constant we need only 20 pixels height so adding height only so this is our UI components height you can check here this is the height but if you think uh, rear reset the height or adjust the height you simply put any value here for the verification uh, you can uh, change the background color from here and this so this will clearly visual visual the side is 25 now change it again uh, 50 Sorry. again you can also uh, do it from here edit all constant like this this and this or you can from this so we have multiple options here to edit the constraints so we are only 20 only so this is your copyright statement and default and we are taking another one sorry another level welcome center align it and then change the full size make it bold semi bold I think it's perfect and down then set it horizontal and vertical alignment 
align so first first now uh, first we need to uh, fix the height and width so you can check this is showing a uh, few errors check here x and y is missing because we have set only uh, height and width only so what but we are going to we are going to uh, align its horizontal and vertically center for that we can create on this is the step tick this and this and add to constant so this is the perfectly horizontal and vertically aligned now hit the run button or from the keyboard command plus r so you can check here your application and building and launching will succeed so this is your splash screen and then this is your view controller so for now view controller is white so nothing here to show for the other confirmation and we can change it background color blue and hit the run button again okay so it's plus and then this view controller uh, to check it again we can apply some delay so that we can more we can see our splash screen more clearly so we can add some sleep time sleep uh, three seconds only so this sleep function will hold the splash screen for three seconds more so you can check here this is more visible now and then it's splash screen our application is launched so friends this is the basic setup for the splash screen and our first application for the, for the beginning series in next part we will implement uh, how to the uh, create the form type application where we can enter first name last name and submit button and check the check like uh, first name should not be empty or last name should not be empty or entering the phone numbers like stuff so for now this tutorial is complete 